Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of January 2021 reading for you. No particular subject, we'll take a, an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Libra, so do check out your other placements, your Moon, Rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Thank you once again for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, everything. Keeps the channel growing. Uh, it's much appreciated. If you haven't done so, please do. And if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box for details of private reads. Okay, Libra, what have we got? Two more. You know, I was actually just going to say I felt a real deep, heavy heaviness on my heart then. So you're deep in your emotions, uh, Libra. Something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future. And potential outcome. Wow. So, out of six cards there's five major arcana incredible big changes coming up six of swords with the queen of cups five of wands and temperance okay there's the five of swords you're in an internal battle between yourself with the nine of swords as well wow okay I almost feel like you. I'm, I'm looking at the Queen of Cups as love here, and I'm looking at Six of Swords as moving away from it. I don't know if it's a feeling of not feeling good enough for love. You need to snap out of that, Libra. Um, but yeah, so Temperance is all about alchemizing, balance, yin and yang. Um, it's a card of. I suppose sobriety as well, you know, bringing things into balance. Um, and you wedge between two fives. Sagittarius energy, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. But you wedge between, the temperance card is wedged between two fives. So there's, like, I don't know, overheated chakras to a certain extent. But there's also a lot of things going off in your head, um, really causing quite a lot of trouble. Yeah, justice card here, it's you. Um, you're really quite in your head about something. It's as if something's been pulled from you. Like an energetic pull. Are you Because I had some pressure on my chest there. Uh, obviously if you get pressure in your chest, you know, you seek medical advice. But it's almost... There's a release or something like that. But you're definitely deep within your emotions with the moon card here. What you're aware of is the Emperor. Could be, could be a divine masculine um, energy. It could be a boss. It could be a father. Um, this could be you. Could be you taking control um, of your situation. You know, maybe you are the divine masculine. Don't get caught up in genders. You know, we all have masculine, and feminine energies. But maybe this is having that deep realization that you need to not control your emotions. And I don't, it's a daft thing to say, not, not control your emotions. Um, I'm almost getting someone that's not open with their emotions and you try and have this stern outlook, you know, to not let things bother you. What you're not aware of is the Hierophant. You're levelling up. You're subconscious, you're levelling up, becoming more spiritually aware, possibly in your dreams. Recent past is the magician, another major arcana, so we've got four out of four major arcanas at the moment. So, I'm getting two things here. Recent past, you've, you've either met somebody that's very powerful in a sense of... Um, manifestations but it's also a kind of in its negative is deceit so I kind of feel like your past has there's been deceitness deceitfulness 
uh, in regards to situations, however it fits with you. Um, it's like an energetic connection with somebody that's gone. Does that make any sense? So I'm looking at the circular energetic movements here. I almost feel like that's been pulled away from you or you've pulled away from somebody and it's caused, I don't know, kind of, there's a strong pressure on my chest here. The immediate future is the two of wands. You're at a crossroads, which direction you want to go. There's a lot of decisions to be made here, Libra. Your decision in the immediate future is the two of wands as to what you do with these emotions. And the outcome is the lovers. The lovers and the magician together in a reading is you know, some very strong soulmate energy. So there's definitely decisions to be made. It's quite a deep reading is this. Might have to do you two, so I don't think this is for many. emotions and now you're pondering where it's gone. Who had something similar? Where's my list? Gemini. And Gemini's here as well. So you could have Gemini in your chart or dealing with a Gemini. But their part two was something similar to that. You know like this energetic pull away. Um, so obviously your decision is, how do you act on that? Again, energies can cross, so this could be a person going through this. Interesting. The star with the three of swords. There's uh, three of swords and the king of pentacles. Yeah. There's something that needs healing here. But the star, the king of pentacles, and then you got your sun card. It's a healing of a heart chakra. I swear, there's such pressure on my chest then. So, the moon is clarified by judgment. This is an epiphany. This is a realization about something. Um, and interestingly, okay, I'll get to that in a second. Um, so this is a realization about um, a, a person, I would assume here, something where the energy is pulled from you, or vice versa. You know, depends how it fits with you. What you're aware of is the emperor with the fool. Maybe you're going to check, take a leap of faith, or you want to do. You just don't know how to. like a controlled risk, <laughs> calculated risk. Um, I almost feel like you're arguing within yourself. This is what that two of ones is about, this indecision. Libras, you, you know, you, I love you guys, but you are quite indecisive sometimes. Um, I kind of feel like this is, structure that doesn't won't allow it but then there's this other part of you that's like come on let's just take a leap of faith what you don't really what's in your subconscious what you're not aware of is the hierophant with the nine of cups you're leveling up this is this you could be dealing with somebody pretty sp spiritual but it said wish fulfillment is this and interestingly enough judgment and the fall together in a reading it's kind of like um realizing The reason why you're here becomes enlightened so it's like um you know your true vocation type of thing uh, comes to you so you may be getting an epiphany about a true vocation of some kind and now it's how do you how do you proceed to uh, take a leap of faith on that the recent past is the magician with the wheel of fortune more major arcanas 
again, the magician and the wheel, life is going to turn around suddenly for you. It's just one big realisation is this. So out of 12 cards we've got 2, 4, 6, 7, 9. There's, a, there's only 2 cards that are um, minor arcana. Because the other card is the 2 of 1s with my true love card. So it's not technically a minor arcana but I've left it in there. You're at a crossroads now because I kind of feel like you've had some sort of realisation about a specific person. And now the outcome is the lovers with the hangman. Now the lovers and the hangman kind of a it can be a pause, a decision, uh, looking at things differently. But I kind of feel like this is a an honest discussion about feelings, an honest discussion about how you see things heading, an honest discussion. Just getting this out in the open, speaking your truth essentially. Wow. And also I'm hearing trust the process. Trust the process. Hopefully that'll mean something to somebody. Okay, Libra. Um, I will do you another one, because I don't think this is for many. Whoever this is for, there's masses changes. I mean, 9 out of 12 major arcana, 2 minor arcana and my true love card. It's big, 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 big changes. Okay. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini again, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, fellow Libra, or you could have all this in your chart. Alright, okay. Let me know if it resonates. Um, good luck. Make a decision. Obviously it's going to be different for everybody, whoever's resonating with this, this sort of epiphany type thing is going to happen and uh, you can have a decision to make. Okay, like I said, let me know. Uh, thank you for following the channel and I'll see you soon.